What is going on guys? So today we are in the back of the fish rack. Uh, a good reason why is because looky here. We got some baby plecos that are stuck back here. So we're going to net them out. Um, and we're going to transfer them into the other tank. And these are the peppermint plecos, like I mentioned. Um, it's like that, that time and season where cold water changes. Um, it's just cold outside and the temperature ramps up in here because I got two heaters going. They like to breed like crazy. Um, so uh, I got a bunch of them already over there. So I'm gonna show you in a little bit here, but I'm gonna get these guys. All right, so I caught three of them. Um, this is the tank. Uh, we have one up there, you can see there. We have another cave. I'll explain that one in a little bit, but I'm gonna put them in this tank just because the last time I put uh, the batch in here, there's one chilling up here. I put them in this tank, you know, majority of them died like a couple days later. So I'm not sure if there's something wrong with this tank specifically. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this tank, this other batch here in this tank. We have another batch coming in actually. And um, what I found was when I was looking, I saw these guys here and then I was looking at the caves. I saw that another peppermint uh, pleco um, dad here was doing a clutch or like fanning the clutch. So I just picked up the whole cave and put them in here. Normally I would take them out and put them in like the little like, you know, uh, egg tumbler thing, but this guy would not come out of the cave and the eggs would not come out. So I was just like, let's just put the whole thing in here um, and figure that out uh, later. So let's go ahead and put them in here just in case, you know, we can separate, um, you know, maybe like there's something wrong with this tank where we need to maybe purge it, start over or something like that. If the fry continues to die, we got a couple of them in here, right? So we'll put some in here and we'll see what happens. So we got three of them in here. If there's any more in the tank, we'll put them in here uh, just because we have another batch coming in from this guy here. So we'll see how they do. Um, I already see a couple of them that I put in a couple days earlier, kind of dietary, which kind of worries me. Um, there's already a fish in here. Um, where is the leopard frog? The leopard frog's in here somewhere in the back. He's under there chilling. So I know that this tank is cycled or whatever and it's fine. For whatever reason, maybe the uh, the water changes or maybe something in this tank that the fry is not liking. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we can try this tank here and if this tank works, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll keep them in here. Uh, but yeah, hopefully these other guys here come out soon. Once they come out, we'll take the dad and we'll put them back into the original tank so that he can breed more. But yeah, we're getting a lot of eggs uh, this week and the past week. I'll show you guys in a second here. We got a new uh, Pleco that I've never had laid eggs, laid eggs. So let's go and take a look. I'm gonna try to catch the, the Pleco first here before we kind of look for the fry. This little tank a little dirty. So there he is right there. So this is a real Uruguay. These are Bristol's Plecos, but they're really tiny. Uh, you know, their max length is like maybe three. So what's interesting about this is I only bought like maybe a group of four or five, and then I had lost like, you know, majority of them except for a male and a female. I've never seen these guys breed or bred any like fry ever. You know, the, the, the time I've had these guys, I've had them like over like five years or whatever. And this is the size, you know, they're tiny. They, you know, even though they're like two inches or whatever, like two inches max, that was it. Like that's, that's, that's all they grow. They're super tiny, they're fully mature and they have really great pattern. Um, and I was just, you know, put them in here. You know, it came down to just these two, right? And I was just like, you know, maybe they're a pair, maybe they're not, haven't seen any breeding. Maybe they like a smaller, you know, tank here. It's a 10 gallon tank with just one cave, right? With the, the shrimp, throw them in here because they were in a, a big, you know, rack with other plecos and they were fighting for other uh, caves and whatnot. And maybe, you know, that might've caused them not to breed. But guess what? We actually have fry. This is actually the first time I've seen these fry. So let me kind of maneuver over here. All right, here we go. Here's a beautiful shot. So here is the female. Look at the colors in that, right? Look at that color. It's beautiful. So that's about, you know, a little over two inches and that's it. You know, that's, that's as big as they grow. Look at the pattern on them. Beautiful color. It's like an orange. It's almost like a, an orange-ish color to them. Very beautiful. Uh, let me look to see if I can see a fry somewhere because, uh, because that is what we're interested in. And I saw two the other day. So I know that they're in here somewhere. 
It's just, we gotta find them. Okay, so I found one, but it's in a weird angle where I can't get a shot of it. So you see the snail right here? Right below it is a little pleco fry right there. So that is one of them. I know I saw a second one in here somewhere. And there might be more in the cave. I tried to like, you know, shake the cave out just to see if they're in there. I didn't see any in there. So there could be more around the sponge. I'm gonna take a look. Try to get a better shot at them somehow. Couldn't find another guy, so that's the unfortunate thing, is like that's the only guy I can kind of get a shot of. But yeah, I am super excited that we have another Pleco breeding for us. So yeah, we'll just kind of keep them in here. Hopefully they might have another clutch of eggs. If they do, great. We'll, um, we'll see. All I know that we do have a confirmed male and female in this a tank. Obviously, you know, we have bristles in this guy. The, the female over there, you know, had some bristles as well because, you know, uh, bristle nose uh, occurs on both the male and female, but, you know, the males will have a little bit more on top of their head. And so, I wasn't quite sure, you know. I was just like, well, you know, if they haven't bred for like five years, like maybe they're not a pair or whatever. Um, but yeah, we, 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 have, we, have, we have confirmation with the little guy in the back there and hopefully we'll get some more. So yeah, that's just a quick video of what's going on in the fish room. We got some breeding action and hopefully we get some more in the next couple weeks here. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed and like always the next one guys, peace.